When you click on the red X button on the Mac, it only closes the window and keeps the app running in the background. In this video, I will show you how to make the red X button quit any app, open Safari, and go to this GitHub website. There's an app called Swift Quit. Once you're done opening this website, you'll see swiftquit.zip file. Click on that file and it will automatically download that app. Now click on Finder and click on Downloads. Now double click on the Swift Quit app. Now click on Open. As you can see, the app is now open. Click on Settings here. And here you can enable this. So whenever you boot your computer, it will automatically start. And you can also disable the icon if you want. Here you can add the exception. If you don't want any of the app to quit, when you click on the red X button, you can choose the app and add it to the exception list. I'm not going to add any app for now. Let's see if this is working now. I'm going to open Safari and hit the red X. Let's see in the dock if that is closing. As you can see, it is closed. There is no dot on the dock that indicates that Safari is running. Now let me open Spotify. Now there's a dot below Spotify. I'll close this and within a few seconds, you can see it is no longer active. Let's monitor that using the activity monitor. I'll open the App Store. Let's find where the App Store is here. Here, App Store is there. So let me close the App Store. Let's see if it is automatically quitting. As you can see, after a few seconds, that process is no longer available in the activity monitor. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more such tutorials, click on subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.